speaking of Champions Trophy, let's get straight into it. Mm. And there's obviously news around it. We've all yes. heard. Uh, even if you're living under a rock, you should have heard. Um, and I have some thoughts about it. Like I've, I've, I've always sure maintained, my, I've always maintained my stance, and I've some thoughts. But before, before, um, and and people may call it bias, but before I give my biased opinion, um, as a non-Indian, as a non-Pakistani, what what do you make of it? And yep. What 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 do you have to say to your fellow non-Indian, non-Desis, non-Pakistanis? Um, either way. Well, anyone who's surprised by India not going to Pakistan, I wonder why you're not surprised. That's the first thing I'll say. There, there was they were never going, right? That's the first thing. And uh, I've seen some people say, "Oh, it's India," um, you know, abusing their power as such. That's a lot of the feedback I've I've seen on on social media, but. From the outside looking in, India-Pakistan relations politically is very, very tricky. We all know yeah. that, right? Yeah. And unfortunately, we've seen an incident in Pakistan over the weekend at a train station. There's always a risk when India go there, and that's how Indians yeah. feel. You're going on government advice, right? Exactly, exactly. Okay. And yeah, you go, you keep going. And then, and then the second thing is. For people to say run the run the competition without India because you got to stand up to them, okay, that's all well and good in theory, um, but that is financial suicide because cricket is in a situation where you've got one country that generates 80 to 9% of the revenue, around 80 to 90%. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's have the revenue lower for one tournament. It's all right. But what happens when your broadcasters ask for a massive discount or – they're very upset and they threaten to pull out of a deal altogether with the ICC. Star Sports have a huge deal with the ICC. Where are yeah. they based? Who's their main audience? Okay. Yeah. Then you've got the, in a situation where other countries might be affected by that as well because they'll get, you know, we talk about the revenue share. We'd love that to be higher for the other countries, higher than what it is. Because the revenue is lower for the ICC, if you've got sponsors pulling out and broadcasters unhappy, you're going to get other countries affected, but they might get a lower revenue share as a result. There's a snowball effect of all this. Yes, it's easy to say, kick India out of the tournament. In an ideal world, we don't want someone 80 to 90 percent of the 80 to 90 percent of the revenue. I'd love to see that revenue, you know, generated by more countries around the world. But unfortunately, that is the reality. And if you're going to run a tournament without India, you're going to get sponsors pulling out unhappy. You're going to get broadcasters asking at least for a huge discount. Because that's the majority of their audience not watching. There's yep. a huge snowball effect. That, To me, there's no way they'll run a tournament without India. They'd be mad to and do it. Mad. Absolutely. Look, my thoughts on this, are, uh, you, you definitely, we have spoken about it quite a few times. And I'll start with this. It's not, people say, oh, you have to stand up to the bully. And it's not like, a, it's, it's not a school bully. It's not it's not someone calling you names in the playground. That's not that that's not the same situation here. Yeah. This is this is where financial ramifications come into play. This is where no this is where loss of revenue come into play. And this this is not the same type of bully situation you you encounter in schools or in in playgrounds or in your in your local um community because this is much bigger than that. This is the survival of the sport. And I agree, like in like you said, in an ideal situation, we want more people watching the sport across all the countries. But the, the fact of the matter is, Indians love cricket. Indians consume cricket like crazy. They will consume cricket because it's that's... It's like they consume it like water. It really is. They consume exactly, it like exactly, water. It's, exactly. Yeah. Crick, Indians will consume cricket. And even if, let's say, even if... India doesn't go <coughs> to the Champions Trophy. Lots of Indians will still watch. That's not that's not the problem. Many Indians will still watch, but you will lose out on on a much bigger fan base. Of course, you will. Of, of casuals and of of people who just watch cricket when India plays, you will lose out on them, and that's a lot of numbers as well. Huge numbers. Um, and and then when when it comes to safety, uh, people talk about safety because. Um, people say 
Oh, there are there are international teams traveling, and I've I've said this again and again. There's a huge, huge, huge difference between an Australian team or a New Zealand team traveling to Pakistan, and and an Indian team team traveling to Pakistan. There is a hmm. massive difference. If you if you put it on the same level, you no, are it's not the same are, level. You are massively detached detached from reality. You can't put that. It's not both, both those. Uh, events on the same level. It's massive. It's there is a massive, massive difference between a Bumrah and a Virat Kohli playing cricket in Pakistan as opposed to a Pat Cummins or a Kane Williamson. Yes, they are big cricketers, but there is a massive difference there. And if you can't understand that, then I think you sh- just shouldn't speak on this topic at all. Then after that, when it comes to safety again, people say, "Oh, it's been you know, there's be- there's this PC- PSL happening, cricket happening." Yeah, fine, but. It's not like the threat that we talk about. It's not imagined threat. We are not uh, visualizing the threat. It has happened. Yes, events have taken place for 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 this to happen. There have been events in the past, not even two decades ago. It's not even. It's been only fifteen years since since a, a cricket team was attacked. Can all those? experts and all those people who say you know step up to the bully and and kick india out and 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 all that stuff can all those experts 100% 110% say to me oh yes are we guarantee india safety can someone guarantee india safety players safety when india visits there i'll ask those people if, if the, uh, ask if, those if, people if you, if you hesitate yeah. if you hesitate even for one second then you shouldn't you just got to ask the, the people uh, what is the government advice for India going to Pakistan, for the Indian team? What does the government tell you? If the government, if, if you say that don't listen to the government, go to Pakistan, well, that's, is that irresponsible or not? And, and look, 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 I, I'm as a, as a, um, as an Indian fan, I'll also say that the, the government is, is trying to isolate Pakistan on an international stage. That is happening. I'm not denying that. And there is a big, Our government's there's a lot to answer to everywhere, you know? Yeah, exactly, and and no and doubt the, about the, it. The, the question is also that the um, who controls the BCCI and who controls the government. It, it it is it is quite it is easy to see who there are pretty much there are similarities there. You know, I'm um, obviously the 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 mm. the president of the um, not the president but the secretary, the chairman of the BCCI is uh, yeah. the minister's son. Um, there's but when you speak about governments. Uh, directive. I'm not even. I'm not even thinking about that. To be honest, I'm just thinking from a safety point of view. That's my bottom line. I'm just thinking from a safety point of view. Can people actually take, give us guarantee that uh, uh, Virat Kohli, Rohit Sharma, uh, just beat Bumrah, all these cricketers will be 110 percent safe when they land and when they play cricket? Yeah, can someone give question. that guarantee? No, uh, that's can't. my no only one can. question. No one That's can. my only question. And you say, oh, you can't even give that guarantee in Australia or in 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 uh in India or in Sri Lanka. Yes, that is correct. But in Pakistan, events have happened. Things have yes. happened. There's there's, there's, there's political tensions between yeah. India and Pakistan, and everyone knows that the tensions are there, right? And um, yeah, you're right. Um, and the thing is as well, I've seen some views that. Oh, uh, India can't choose when and where they play. Well, well, they just went to the Caribbean for a T20 World Cup, and they've yep. been to Australia for a 50 over. They go, go everywhere else for for tournaments. They don't pick and choose where they want to play. I, I, to me, this is not me defending the BCCI because I think the BCCI. I've got a lot to answer to in other different things. Yeah, absolutely. I think the way absolutely. they engage, the way they engage the supporters is non-existent. Uh, yep. the, the worst board when it comes to fan engagement, the way that they. Um, almost make highlights and 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 you know footage of cricket almost inaccessible yep. to people. Yep. Terrible, right? The way they planned, I think the twenty twenty three ODI World Cup, shocking. There's been a lot of things that you know you and I have been very critical of when it's the BCCI. It's not just us standing up to the biggest board and trying to be friendly with the big guys. It's not that. We're talking yep. about a situation where it's India and Pakistan. India traveling to Pakistan, they've always been hesitant to do so, particularly in the last 15 years due to certain events. 
Uh, and then you talk about running a competition or running a tournament without India. Well, then you're not going to have very happy broadcasters and sponsors. And that's where the revenue comes from. And that's where the revenue is then distributed to the boards across the world. Do you know, do you know what I honestly feel? Um, my, I was, I'm, I'm been thinking since this, since yesterday, let, let chaos reign. Let, let's say India doesn't go to the champions trophy. I'm, I don't mind. Let, let West Indies play. Um, let who who else is missing? Sri I don't Lanka. know who else is missing. But Sri Lanka. Sri, let Sri Lanka play. I'm I'm all for that. Let it's the the thing is you you may think I sound arrogant, but the fact of the matter is it's not going to be India's loss. Certainly and, not. And 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 a, people have to accept that fact that India holds the power when it comes to revenue generation just due to the scale of following, scale of population. And, okay, w what's the solution? No one actually gives any solutions when they say, you know, let, let kick India out. Okay, India, let's say India doesn't go out it, to Pakistan. India doesn't play Champions Trophy. What comes next? ICC will, like you said, ICC will bear the, the loss. They will. The and other so, countries and, will and bear so the, the loss. Other countries as well, because we talk about the revenue share not being fair, right? That's some of the arguments around the world. Your revenue share, if if things go badly with your broadcasters and your sponsors, for example, your revenue share will be less. I'm looking at it from a, know, from a bigger picture point of view. What could be the effect of it? Because it's easy to say, okay, tell them not to play. Okay, fine. But then what's the effect of that? Yeah. Because unfortunately, as we've said, is that cricket's revenue uh, and cricket's economics is dominated so heavily by one country. It's not ideal, but that's the reality. Yeah. And and it's that's not the reality. It's not the fans' fault that they love cricket. No, it's not. I mean, it's not it's not a, a, a ten year old kid watching Virat Kohli or Rohit Sharma in, in a in a, in a village in India. It's not his fault that no India plays so much cricket or India makes so much money. People just love cricket. That's it. But yep. when it comes to such decisions, I think people who truly don't understand the the nitty and gritty of how a business is run, I think that that what makes is makes it more frustrating than anything else. Because mm -hmm. whether you like it or not, it might be a sport for you. It is a business. The organizations have to run it as a business. Yep, we've said this and, before, and, and it's it's true. There's there's couple of there's there I saw opinions where um people mostly English people um who love to take a st stand for everything but um I English experts uh oh the players should come out Indian players should come out and and raise their voices and and um you know raise their voices of what the BCCI is doing See, I'm like you don't understand how employment works do you. Uh, the the players are essentially the players are employees. They are not. They are not. They no. don't. They don't. They are not contractors or, or they are <laughs> not uh, freelancers. They are employees. But just BCCI for a second, the employer. What I'd say to those people is put yourself in the position of that player for a second. You know, you're asking for a player to go over to Pakistan where there've been some, uh, as I've said before, some tensions. What is the player thinking? What do their family think? What does that player's family think? about them going across there. That's yep. a question you've got to think about and ask before we make statements like that. Absolutely. I mean, we could we could sit here and talk all day about that, but the, uh, the bottom line is, if India doesn't go to the Champions Trophy, I think... I'm I'm all for it. I don't I don't mind I don't mind that happening. They'll they'll make it um, they'll do a hybrid at the very least. They will do a hybrid. They There's will no do question. A there's no doubt about it. You can say you can talk about it on Twitter all you want, but it's not happening that India will be kicked out. It's, it's financial suicide, right? Also, I'll, I'll I'll end with this actually. Um, I, I was uh, reading the article earlier from Crick Info. That's what that's what sparked all of this discussions on on Twitter. The Crick Info article. Um, there's not one source mentioned. I know. Uh, it says uh, Pakistan. You know, ICC have conveyed to the Pakistan PCB that India are not traveling and doesn't say. So there's who, no quote. Who, I, don't, I haven't actually read no the quote, article. There's no quote. There's no source. There's no, not even a, a, a report like ICC insiders say, told us this. Or yeah. 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 PCB yeah. sources, nothing of that sort. It's just statements. 
Uh, there's no source and there's nothing. So at the end of the day, it could very well be that India travels to Pakistan. We don't. I can tell that. you from now they won't. I can tell you. I from know now they won't. won't. <laughs> I know they won't. But there's that slight one percent chance that they It'd might. Be interesting. So, It'd be fascinating. It'd, if they that'll do. be fun. That'll be fun. Listen, I would want nothing more than for India to travel and for nothing to happen, and for the cricket to go along swimmingly and smoothly, and everyone to be happy. There's nothing more that I want than that. That'd be that'd be great. But there's some things to consider first.